Where is the file? Oh, he's gonna concede. Thank goodness, dude. Like, again, the main issue with Zilliax is even though he's a great card, Paladin and Hunter are killing you by turn six or seven. You're never playing Zilliax. Mm, I like fracking. I like fracking quite a bit. Uh, I think that it's worth it to keep it as well as Dark Alley Pact and then the Harp. I don't need it early, early in the game because I don't want to necessarily play a card and empty my hand. So I think this is fine. Defile's very good against like mining casualties. Zilliax is anti-aggro, not value. It's literally not anti-aggro. Look, if you have to spend six mana to get a five, four divine shield, taunt, lifesteal, whatever. Uh, let me also, first of all, we already have two giant things. So we don't really need the Anubiseth. I think it's probably best to take ETC because Hellfire, no, Hellfire is good though, but ETC is way more flexible. I like it more. Mm. But like, look, you play Zilliax on six, Hunter kills you on six, even through Zilliax. Oh man. If I'm able to find the uh, the wheel, that would be great, actually. Thank you very much. Just let me draw the wheel, please. Symphony of Sins is not the wheel, but it could still be good. I'll play this on turn five, maybe. You choose the discount per minion on board. I mean, yeah, you. so you have, you have one, but it's still a nine mana card. And it's good against Hunter if you use that one, but the Paladin one, they go a little bit more tall. I do want to play the harp to play around plagues, even if it makes the alley pact a little bit weaker. Like you can run that one if you want, and I don't necessarily think that it's even that bad. But against Paladin, it'll probably cost like five mana still. Oh, that's so annoying. But luckily we should be able to dodge at least some of the early damage. Just don't get it like this turn so I can't play um dark, dark alley pact. Table flip is not good enough here, but Dark Alley Pact is solid. It's fine. It's a 7-7. Seven, seven. You most likely play Zilliax on three. That's not true most of the time, I think. Again, against Hunter, yes. Against any other class, no. And I would rather have Reverberations because Reverberations is great against Paladin as well as several other classes. Like, I would rather just not have Zilliax and have a reverb that can potentially actually do something. Oh, uh, we can go table flip this turn if we wanted to. So at this point, I'm always confused on if I want to go Loken or Doomkin. I think Loken is better. I think it has to be Loken. Because then maybe we can find um, Phantom, and then if we find Phantom, and then we can go Wheel of Death, we just win. The problem is we don't have that much removal, but we do have ETC, which can give us a Gul'dan's Gift, which will give us Twisting Nether. Can you send the deck code? I'll, I'll try. I'll send you a deck code. Yes, My sir. Pain compare to your play. Hello. 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 Oh, I was like, do you run that? What the hell are you doing? But no, he doesn't run that. Here it is. My bad. Mortal Eradication is definitely not as good as this. Uh, so we're going to play that and try to get a 15-15 Taunt Minion or at least a 6-9 Taunt Minion. Um, now, having to choose between the two always sucks. But I think it's got to be a 15-15 here. I think it's got to be a 15-15 here. I'm just, I think. Because Reska is not even close to being active. The problem is I want removal. Okay, you hit that. I'm gonna go bonk, bonk, unfortunately, because I want to play Do. Do I even need to play Doomkin? Or could I just do 15 damage to, it, to the to the face? Can I even do 15 damage to the face? I don't know if I can. I truly don't know if I can do 15 damage to the face. Boom plus ETC. Okay, so what do they what do they play late? They could play the Primus next turn and eat. No, they could play the Primus in two turns. But the Primus doesn't really matter because HP isn't how they win through Wheel of Death. 
So maybe it is just better to try to kill this, push 15 damage, make him freak out a little bit. But there's also a chance that this misses, right? Mm. Fire doesn't do anything. And then Doomkin gets me to nine mana, but what do I do with that? Like if I play this, it doesn't do anything anyway. We'll see where this goes. That's crazy that that happened. What the fuck? Uh, Defile, it kills off both, and then we go face for 15 anyway. Wow. Wait, that was so good. We wiped the, wow. I did not expect that, even a little bit. I did not expect that even slightly. I really thought that that was doomed. You know Why are you not keeping the weapon on draw? Because I don't think the weapon's very good. Like early on, you don't necessarily want to play it right away anyway, because it makes your um your other thing weaker. Also, statistically, it just says it's not very strong, so I haven't been keeping it because if it's statistically pretty weak, What's the point in keeping it? No way I drew a Frost Plague. There's no fucking way. Oh shit. Dude, there's no fucking stop. Feels good. That's crazy. What the fuck? You can play the Primus now. Wait, being, having to, wow. The runes decide your fate. Holy shit. Wait, that's devastating. Remnants of life. I have to do this and then I have to go siphon soul to kill that because that's gonna get too much value. I can play I can play this and this next turn. So it's still not the end of the world, but wow, that was bad. I lost to RNG, that's so fucked. Two mana left is not really that much. I don't want to life tap because I'll take too much damage. Well, nah, life tap is fine, whatever. No, life tapping was actually super troll because if I had drawn a plague, I would have lost. I need him to hit the 15-15. I need him to hit the 15-15. If he hits the 15-15, it's winnable. That was so unfortunate that we drew the frost plague on. We drew like five plagues on that turn. It's asphyxiate. Oh my god. Interesting. Okay. That's fine. We take one damage. So far, it's not that big of a deal. We go Symphony of Sins. Hopefully, get a taunt minion or deal six, heal six. Sure. I'll then do this, get a 6-6, six, six, and rush into that. Uh, I could have life tapped, but I'm also a little bit low. Death cannot be found. Sure. Draw a rush minion. Oh, shit. Deal six, heal six, reverb, kill. Reverb, kill it off. The, th the two, three lives, but there's nothing I can really do about that. There's nothing I can really do about that. Could I life tap? Sure. Envy's not bad. I really want to find Wrath. This deck is stressful, man. 
300 people are viewing right now? That's crazy. Wait, really? Holy shit. How's it going, everybody? I don't try to look at the numbers anymore because every time I look at the numbers, I get stressed out. Blech. So, what do I do here? I think I go Doomkin, which doesn't really do well. My undying gratitude. Boom. A pity. Boom. And then I'm gonna rush one into this, which I guess is fine. I just am trying not to die here. Deal six damage to everything as a potential board wipe is really the only option that I have left. It's gonna be close. Burrow Buster's fine. I'm hoping that I don't die this turn or next turn. He gets to resummon his biggest thing. You're not gonna resummon your biggest thing. Why are you not resummoning your biggest thing? A pity. Why is he not resummoning his biggest thing? A pity. Wait, why? I don't understand. Let's burn his cards. Let's pass. Why are you saying a pity? Oh. Are you... Okay, I thought maybe they knew something I didn't. I was like, do I not win this turn? Like, what's happening? Better cards. One drops, two drops. Things that draw me things that I can use to stay in the game. Uh, this is actually very good. My hope is we get to play a really good curve and he doesn't play 1-1 one, one Divine Shield. Uh, why the hell are you playing that right now? Does it feel like a waste of a coin to do this? No, because I kill off a 2-1 and I can life tap next turn and take no damage because then I'll hit. Or if he plays the 2-2, two, two, I can just kill. If he's, uh, He probably forges though. Oh, okay. Okay. We kill off that minion and we keep going face. We'll play this next turn. He'll probably play the uh, three mana 2-4. Which I think is worse than just forging. He probably should have. Oh. That's so cringe, actually. Because I can't even kill that. Why the fuck is this three mana? Actually, why is this three mana? This should be a four mana card easily. And it would still be good. It's fine. It's whatever. I'm getting tilted just thinking about it. We're going to play this. We're going to slap this in the face. We're going to save Reverb for hopefully a potentially bigger minion later on. Um, oh, God. He's pumping up his board so much. And then he's going to OTK me with Leroy. Oh. It might be a bot. The name is just a random assortment of letters and stuff, but like... Even a bot paladin is probably favored to win most games <laughs> because paladin is just that stupid. When you see the cat, you really get triggered. Yeah, why does paladin get to have Zilliax for three mana that also makes another 1-1 one, one divine shield taunt rush lifesteal minion? God, I hate this card. This card and the aura, I think are the two biggest problems and this weapon. You know what? Actually, there are a lot of problems. You know what? Scratch that. There are a lot of problems. Oh my god, he just killed my whole board! Oh my god! What do you mean? It's all gone! It's all gone! Alright, Symphony of Sins, steal six damage, or a reborn. Sure, reborn's pretty good. Pretty good. We like it, we'll keep it. The best part is if they summon a giant ass minion and I reverb it, I can then get a rush minion with the full stats, which is hope. You know, that's what I hope. Hey, Lauren, how's it going? Perry told me that you called me old. Be nice to Perry or called him old. Look, man, to me, 30 years old, ancient. That is so far in the future, I can't even see it. By the time I'm 30, we're gonna be on Mars, okay? That it, it is years away. But no, I'm, I'm kidding. I said happy birthday to him though. 30 is a big one. One more coat of paint do Oh, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna give each of these plus three attack and kill my 6-6 six, six and heal the full HP while losing nothing? That would be crazy, wouldn't it? That that would be crazy. That would be that'd be crazy. 
That'd be crazy. There's no way he gets that, right? There's no way that he's able to. Oh. Oh, that's just a card that fucking exists in Hearthstone. Sick. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, fantastic. He loses absolutely fucking nothing for this, by the way. Dude, there's no way. There's no way, dude. Reverb. Mortal Eradication. It's only a 4-4, but I'm not going to give this rush because it's really not worth it for a 4-4. Holy. Facing my 30th first thing. Was on the 16th. I'm joking, all of you guys. No, guys, guys, guys. I was joking. You're not old. I swear. I'm doing everything I can to stay alive. How is this guy at full HP? He face tanked two giant taunt minions with his weapon. How are you still at full HP? Jesus Christ. How has this not been hotfix nerfed or like removed from the game for the time being? God. I didn't want to call for nerfs. I, di I really didn't, but. Oh my goodness, the just insane stats are pissing me off. Because it's not, it's it's one of the things like in League of Legends that also pisses me off when a champion just wins, not because, what the heck are you doing? Oh. I mean, I wipe this board, right? One, two, three, and I heal up four. Shit, I don't kill it. Oh my God, this still lives. No, 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 no. I can't believe I just did that. I have to do this then. Well, I do full wipe, I guess. It is a full wipe, but it's still frustrating. Holy shit. I mean, none of his minions are currently pumped, right? So actually his hand is pretty small. Most of his buffed cards are gone. He's already played the minion and he's already played both of those minions and the other. That's a really weak turn. Of course you draw the weapon. I mean, he only has two cards in hand, so this is still very, very winnable. Okay, very winnable. See what you give me first. Um, ooh. My hand is too full for you, but I really like you. It might have to be a geode though for card draw. I think it has to be the geode for card draw. Oh, I hate it, but I think it has to be. Um, yes, please, on the Sargeras. Uh, yes, I like that a lot. We're gonna play you. We're going to get maybe Glacial Shard, actually, to just freeze his face. Instead of Gul'dan's Gift. Because we already have good removal. Glacial Shard to freeze his face would go crazy. It would go crazy here, right? I mean, Gul'dan's Gift is good too, though, with like a Siphon Soul or just flexibility. No, we'll go with the flexibility here. And then we'll play another minion. We take some damage, but it's okay. Life steal's huge. Look, your hand is so small. Just don't kill me. Let me get infinite top minions and kill your ass. God. Leroy incoming? Don't say that. Don't say that. Please don't let Leroy be incoming. I'm gonna lose my mind. <sighs> I think I win though. I think this is one of the rare instances where I was able to beat Paladin. And this is a great final game. This is a great game to end on. I, I already said it was gonna be my last game. And let me tell you, if I lose, I will be very sad, actually. Oh. Ah, Reno's not bad. There's a card that exists in the game, the card store, yes. All right. Endless taunt minions. I don't think that I get endless taunt minions and he can kill Sargeras. I don't think that he's able to do both of those things. So I am going to infinite taunt minions this shit. No. It might have to be suck. 
You're probably wondering why is it suck this turn? And the reason is because if I leave a minion on the board, I'm gonna die. That's just the way that it is. That's just the way that's just the way that Paladin works. If I leave a minion on the board, he's gonna pump it, give it plus three attack and lifesteal, divine shield and wind fury, and I'm gonna take minimum 14 damage next turn, assuming he doesn't have other pumps. Now the only way I lose is to like a Leroy. At least at least I've minimized the opportunity that he has to win. No! More? I don't want to deal with it again. God damn. Leroy isn't- shut up. He's not incoming. Shut up. Everybody, stop typing Leroy incoming. You're gonna make me- you're gonna make me lose my mind, okay? Uh, this doesn't really do anything at this point. Make sure they have permanent taunt, burn his cards, play this. Do I life tap? I'm gonna have enough mana to play pretty much everything. I'll life tap. Aunt minions. This kills that. This seems weird that I'm not using it for a better. C oh my gosh. Get fucking Rust Rot Viper, idiot. Get Rust Rot Viper. This is why I run the card. Fuck you. Oh my gosh. This feels so good. It feels so good to. <laughs> I don't want to get ahead of myself. Oh, you don't have a weapon to draw. You drew both of them over. I destroyed it. Fuck you. Get wrecked. Nothing you can do can stop me. God, I'm the best player. I've made the best deck. Okay, no. But I made a deck that can actually do well against Paladin and Hunter, and it feels amazing to not lose on repeat to those classes. Yes, it's less greedy, and it might lose some of the slower matchups, but oh God, does it feel much better against Hunter and Paladin. Uh, none of these cards are really that good. Really? This win rate's super high if I keep this. I feel like Warrior's just able to kill it. I think the main win condition of this matchup is to just find the, the wheel and try to kill them before they find, like, um, Reno or something. I'm thinking about taking out the other Anubiseth. Even though I said I don't like it that much, I think that it has some... No, I think having... I think having one's fine. It just gives you a potential more consistent uh, thing for Forge of Wills. Symphony of Sins, you don't want to play that before you've drawn the wheel because it dilutes your deck and makes it harder to do things. What if I reverb this? Hold on. He's not going to have any big minions I need to actually reverb, so I might as well draw extra cards and gain some armor while I'm at it. I feel like that's actually not that bad of a play. Worst case scenario, I can set up to kill it with Defile at any point. Well, we drew the uh, Wheel of Death, which is very, very good. But now we need to find the Doomkin, so we need to draw as many cards as possible this way. I also don't know if I even like the freaking um, Zilliax. Like, I just feel like this deck already has a win condition in the Wheel of Death. Running a 9-mana Zilliax just feels like it defeats the whole purpose. You're gonna kill that, that's fine. I don't mind that too much, actually. They probably play the, um, no, they play the 2-2, two, two. their armor hasn't changed, so they don't draw any cards there. That's fine. Coin for an Acolyte of Pain, perhaps? And a shield block, then what are you doing for one mana? Um, I need to find it. I need to find a Doomkin, man. If I don't find a Doomkin on curve, I'm fucked. I mean, that's not even 100% true. If I can find it on turn 6 or 7 to delay Odin even just a turn, it's fine. But, like, not finding it at all is really rough. He had the coin as well. You had a second Fiery War Axe? That's crazy. I think also taking out one imposing Anubiseth 
for a rust rot viper to play around paladins could be useful oh all right we found a doomkin we'll play it next turn we don't want to overdraw so let's just do that it doesn't really matter we play Doomkin. It does delay Odin by a turn, but he's able to play Brand this turn. He's not Highlander, actually, which does bode well for me. I don't know. I think I'm taking out one Anubiseth and I'm putting in Rustrout Viper because of the Paladin matchup. I think it's just better. Wish me luck, lads. Two wins wave from Diamond 5. Congratulations, and I wish you luck, my friend. I know you can do it if you believe in yourself and the heart of the cards. Mm, I'm going to destroy it next turn and summon a 15-15, so there's no reason to use this right now. And then we'll play this the turn after that. We do still have a Twisting Nether with this, which is nice. Is there any way that I can draw a card new? So let's pass. Yeah, let's pass. It's fine. I'll have nine Such mana next turn. Power. Such power! What are you... Huh? Why are you emoting me at six mana, sir? I don't understand. Why was Doomkin so important? Two reasons, especially against Warrior. You need to play Wheel of Death as soon as possible against Warrior because they're going to play Odin and kill you about two turns later. Right? So the fact that I got Doomkin a turn late means I'm playing Wheel of Death a turn late which means that it's significantly less likely that I'm able to survive and eventually win the game. It just is so much less likely. It's so much less likely that we're able to win the game now. Because they're able to play Odin one turn sooner, or no. That's not necessarily the case, but... Um, boom. I do this. I'll make a 15-15. He's probably going to kill it, but we have another taunt with this, which we can play in a bit. And we're not going to take fatigue damage because we have the uh, the weapon, which is nice. But if it comes down to the last turn and we end up losing the game, that just shows you how important Doomkin is. Because they can't threaten me this turn. They can't threaten me next turn. But after they play Odin, there is a world where they can actually kill me in like two or three turns. If they have enough armor in their hand. So... That's that's basically it. That's that's essentially why getting Doomkin so important. If I had played it one turn sooner, when he had six mana, uh, we win the game because he has to wait on turn six, then turn seven, then play Odin on turn eight, and then he has like one, maybe two more turns to kill me after that, depending on like if he has the coin or whatever, because he could still like coin out Odin in some situations, obviously. Um, then we're gonna do this. So we can continue growing our hand size. I would like to remove cards from the top, please. I think the taunt is too soon. Because he's going to play Odin next turn. So let's just remove the top cards of his deck. We don't really need the healing or anything else. Are you destroying anything good? Boom. I'll draw. I'm not going to overdraw at any point either, so this is honestly just fine. But he plays Odin this turn, and then I have to figure out a way to survive two more turns and not die. There's Odin. He did actually top deck it, it looks like, or I think so. Boom into boom. This is Fucking nuts, by the way, that we have such a big minion here. They're both gonna have Divine Shield Rush Taunt, which is nice. Do I ever life tap? One, two, three, four. I guess I could to try to find the um the reborn guy. We don't find it. This one's kind of useless as well. But now he's got two turns to kill me, which is kind of problematic. But we'll see what happens, right? Like, we did burn several armor generators. We burned two safety goggles, which was nice. I don't see... I didn't see, We burned a uh, trial by fire. And then I... Uh, 
don't know if we burn. I think we burned a craftsman's hammer, but he, he could have another one, so it's not that big of a deal. But he, we burned. Um, oh, we might just be dead anyway. A reborn taunt minion is very important here. Is that better or worse than playing this? The problem with this is it could just die to Bladestorm, but this, he would need to kill it twice. Which is still possible? But, oh God. And then we'll heal up too. If we can get, okay, we heal up a little bit more with this as well. So it's it'll be hard for him to kill me, but again, not impossible. But like, you see how it can be so important. If I had drawn Doomkin on curve, that would have been his final turn. But since he got Doomkin not like that, or since I didn't get Doomkin, um, he has in theory two turns to kill me. And if I wasn't able to heal up and do all of this, there's a world where I could have died, right? So that's why Doomkin's so important in this matchup to get as soon as possible. At the very least, you have to get it before, um... At the very least, you have to get it before, um... You have to get it before they play Odin. If you get Doomkin after they play Odin, it's unplayable garbage, and it's just gonna sit in your hand. But you you have to get it here, in this matchup. It just has to happen. Um, I like healing. I like healing. Fracking's decent. For one mana, it'll be good. Like for one mana, it's basically like tracking, so I can find whatever I want. And I do like having the tentacle early on as well. I don't think I play the harp until after I've taken a little bit of damage, though. Hmm. Looks like I'm probably gonna be taking damage anyway, so let's play the harp. But no, yeah, that game was so winnable. I I, I choked that one. That was my bad. I played bad at the end. No one's going to believe this. Doesn't really matter what it hits. Oh, okay. well, I wanted it to kill a minion, but that's fine. Oh, that's bad. That's not good. That's pretty bad. Now, where is that defile? True, I had defile last game against a paladin where all of their minions had 17 HP, so I couldn't kill them. But now, when I need defile the most, he vanished. It's like the avatar, man. But coin the removal, it, it wouldn't remove the stuff though. So I don't really care. I want him to, he's gonna play the 4-1 Tremors. He's gonna play two things and then I'm gonna wipe them all with Mortal Eradication. I take more damage right now, but I kill his entire board. Like this is what I want. This is literally what I wanted, by the way. I was literally saying what was gonna happen. That's why I didn't coin out Mortal Eradication because now I just go boop and they're all dead. I heal back up to full and I have enough mana to play the next one and I still have the coin for later. The Tendril, the only way the Tendril didn't work out was if it hit the one of the one ones. But even then, Mortal Eradication would kill off most of his minions next turn. Like, even in the worst case scenario, it was still okay. Uh, I will play ETC here, actually. He's a 4-4. He can contest the board a little bit. Don't need to play Fracking. I will take um, the Gift because I think this is too slow and this is not the most important. But this can give me Siphon Soul to kill something. It can give me a uh, Mortal Coil to kill off a 4-1. It can do a couple of different things for me here. Tried conceding until uh, I had Helia in an opening hand. First draw. Anyone want to guess how many games I conceded? In your opening hand. So, oh, plus first draw. So, like, including mulligans and stuff. I would say it's got to be a pretty decent number. What are you doing? Why are you doing that? Hello? This guy's trolling. This guy's like, me hunter, me go face. Like, what are you talking about, dude? You're literally just gonna lose your board and allow me to just draw a card and heal. What are you doing? This guy's delusional. But I, my guess would be like four games. I don't think it'd be that much, but like if you're unlucky a couple of games in a row, like the longest streak I had was like eight maybe where I didn't get Helia no, when I played a lot. Like Wait, fuck your interaction. <laughs> 
Get wrecked. All right. There are a couple of different things that I can do here. We'll go this first and then fracking to see if I can try to get a symphony. We want the six damage or a taunt. It's okay. Reborn taunts fine. Then we'll go uh, fracking. Again, the win condition this game is not the wheel. The wheel is not how we win this game. Uh, the forge, however, could be very good. Reverb is also saw. I'll take the forge. I'll take the forge. Because, like, if I draw the 7-7, seven, seven, I can give it rush. It's not bad that way. Probably has to hit into the 6-6 six, six at least a couple of times. Ah, oh, shit. Did I just get rid of my Rust Rot Viper? No, I didn't. That, that is going to pump up the stuff. Fuck. Oh, okay. No, he has to full trade into that. That's fine. Reno's not active. I will siphon soul this so he can't keep pumping stuff up. And then... I guess fracking again. I guess technically I can fracking this. And I still have enough mana. We do get a 7-7, seven, seven, which is relevant. We could play this plus that, but this plus Siphon Soul is too expensive. Hold on. This plus Siphon Soul is 5 mana. Destroy. I think a 7-7 seven, seven taunt minion is probably best. I do lose that, which definitely sucks, but it's pretty strong stuff. We can coin out Sargeras next turn and get infinite taunt minions, or we can play like the wheel and then just play this. Oh my god. Maybe we go uh, Sargeras and then we just wipe the board, actually. That might be better. That's probably better. Um, you know what? When I say it's probably better, it just is better. We can get infinite taunts afterwards and we're, we're chilling. Like this game is, this game is mostly over. Like I said, putting in a lot more front-loaded things has been very, very good for this deck. Just front-loading all of these minions and taking out some of the really greedy cards has been absolutely exceptional with this deck recently. I mean, I want to be able to play this and this on the same turn, but I think next turn it's just going to be like this with a taunt minion and then generate infinite taunts and just, just, just do some good damage. I mean, could he still kill me? Absolutely. It could definitely still happen. Maybe it is just wheel into 1515 lifesteal minion. Fuck off. <laughs> that is bullshit. He gets Huffer. I get infinite taunt minions. I get a 15 15 taunt that dies to two hits. But the only way that I can activate Reno in any reasonable amount of time is if I do this. Let's see what this gives me first. Never mind, I'm glad that I did that. Fuck you, idiot. Don't need to play the wheel. I just get to kill your ass. It feels so good. Holy shit, man. Uh, I will hold on on the little light tap. Oh, that felt amazing. Oh, I think I still would have been fine with the 15-15 taunt, but drawing that was... F oh, it felt so good. All right, well, that's a little bit annoying. I'll be honest. Where is the file? Oh, he's gonna concede. Thank goodness, dude. Oh, man. Literally, I designed this deck specifically to fight for the board early and beat War Hunter, and I still only barely beat it. Hunter is insane. Okay, uh, we don't want any of these. Well, we want Doomkin, I think, but other than Doomkin to try to slow them down, I feel like the rest of this hand is pretty bad. 
Okay, the Geode's fine. Gives me some good card draw. I'll play you on six so we get big pressure. Unless we draw our big minions, in which case we'll probably play you. One Mega Heal is like on the first expansion, okay. And then, oh no, sorry. One Maker feels great on the first expansion, okay on the second, bad on the third. Take out the Wheel of Death? Uh, no, because it's kind of my win condition. <laughs> but, uh, good try. Dude, I just take so much damage from like everything. It's kind of insane. I'm trying to think. Cause like the problem is the more minions that I put in this deck, the worse and worse Loken becomes, right? Uh, shit. Well, this makes it even worse. I don't really want to get rid of him though, cause I have the wheel, which means I can just play him on turn seven for free. I'll take it. I'm honestly kind of tempted to take out Loken. Because one, he's always getting in the way of the Doomkin, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. But two, the more I put in cheaper minions to help me fight for the board, the harder it becomes for Loken to actually work. Because like, what if he gets the Geode or what if he gets the Tentacle? And yeah, right now I'm drawing those cards, so it's not the worst thing in the world. But like, I'm not always going to draw them. Literally every deck that isn't Hand Paladin, Aggro Hunter or Aggro Demon Hunter is just bad right now. Not just Plague Death Knight. Plague Death Knight's not even that bad. Hello? This, I think, protects me the most late game. Actually, this gives me life steal, so I think it's okay for me to just bonk that. We'll play Doomkin on six, though. You need the Giants Roran's version? I don't think so. None of the best decks that I've seen or best like top tier players that are playing this deck are running giants. And I mean, there's a possibility that everybody's just wrong right now because it's the beginning of the expansion. But like if it's not even really being experimented with, I would just assume that it's not as good as, as this. I'm just trying to figure out all the cards that like suck and all the cards that are good. And so far, Loken has been hit or miss. The, um, the Dark Alley Pact or the whatever it's called has been fine-ish. But I took it out because a lot of the times it's a pretty small minion actually. Like at the end of the day, it really just summons you like a 5-5 five five or a 6-6 six six most of the time. Uh, life tap into this, into this. If I had drawn this a turn sooner, it would have been sick. Actually, I could have played this instead of these two things. No, I messed up. I should have played this instead of these two because that way I could have played this and this and made an extra 15-15 all in the same turn. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how to make this deck work better. And I think more draw with things like the Geode is very good to help me try to find the wheel as consistently as possible. Oh, that's cool. But the problem is, again, running smaller minions and drawing a lot of cards makes Loken less and less and less effective. Because, well, because it, it just doesn't really work that well. Like if you're drawing a bunch of cards, you're more likely to draw Sargeras and Phantom, which means that this is worse. And you're more likely to randomly get a, a smaller minion. So I think I'm taking out Loken, even though everything about him, he should be good in this deck. I can't do it. Maybe we can put in some sort of removal or something. I don't know, maybe we take out ETC because ETC feels a little bit slow, but I do like having the Glacial Shard as an option, but I also don't want it to be in my hand or in my deck because it's good against Odin Warrior and it's good against Thief Rogue and it's also pretty decent against Paladin to stop him from attacking for a turn. But it's okay, I'll destroy my deck. Oh. We don't take fatigue damage for three turns. Which is pretty nice, because we really only take fatigue damage on the final turn then. But like now he's also just useless, right? Like I guess I could play him now and then play the wheel next turn, so I guarantee like Sargeras. But even then it's not a guarantee. I have a I have a three-fourths chance of getting no, I have a three-fifths chance of getting him. It's just not worth it. We basically have two twisting nethers though, with this and then you. 
a reverb to kill off any individual really large minion, which I think is quite strong. Like, I'm fine with this. I just need to not die in the next several turns. And I could die to, like, Sif. But we'll see. Is Odin Warrior any good? I think Odin Warrior is fine, but I just think that like Paladin and Hunter are so overtuned right now that even a deck that's pretty good and can beat most other decks just loses to Paladin and Hunter, so it's considered bad, like win rate wise. I mean, okay, look, there are definitely other decks that I want to try, like the one with Leroy, where you pump Leroy and then you reverb him, seems pretty sick. Okay. Holy shit, I'm able to hit him for 15 damage. Look. That was bad. I should have played the 7-7. Seven, seven. It's okay though, it's not that big of a deal. Technically, Gul'dan's Gift is more flexible, so I will keep that instead, and I hope I just don't die to Sif in, like, two turns, because I basically just need to live three more turns. Greetings from Europe. Happy to catch you live. Well, I'm glad that you caught me live, Vita. I'm happy that you're here, and I'm happy that uh, you're having a good time. Bell Hunter's crazy. I hit Legend and went, like, 11 and 2. Yeah, Hunter is pretty strong right now. Oh, my gosh. Another one? Is that a reverbable card? Reverbable? You know what I mean. Is that a card that I should reverb? Or should I just siphon soul it? I'm just gonna siphon soul it. It's not that big of a deal. I still have another Twisting Nether. I feel relatively okay, but again, Sif could kill me in the next two turns. I just need to live through two more. Come on. No Sif. No Sif, you have drawn through half of your deck. How many spell schools have you even played? You've played an Arcane, you've played a Frost, you've played a Fire. Okay, cool, we're just gonna win the game. Sick. 